the first step when you get your uh, auto refill system is you want to balance the ink and the isobaric chamber so you're going to rock them just like this the way we're doing it now make sure you haven't opened up any of the plugs going to do that a couple of times and then you're going to put on one of these black paper clips hopefully you got one if not should get one clamp the hose off now we'll be ready to install the cartridges without any ink leaking all over tab on the bottom we've already taken it off you have to peel off then you want to pat the bottom in case there's any excess of ink there okay and that's it and also you, you go, you're going to get these clips and you're going to get our snapping vac should you ever have to prime the cartridges back up on some of the printers you have to take off these little cartridge holders. They sit right on top of the cartridge. They're not required. The cartridges will still be able to click in. So we're going to show you how to take them off. Basically, we put a screwdriver and we spread it, and then we take them right off. Now, on some of the other printers, because this system works for a lot of different models, same as the HP 62 cartridges, 61 cartridges because on some of them I'm going to bring you over here real quick if you notice there's no uh, cartridge clips so you don't have to take it off of this one these are the new um, HP office jet 5740s but on the other the older ones like the Envy's you had those little cartridge clamps you had to take off there. like that more to take off we're going to show you in the video how to do that but remember we on some of the printers let me come across here real slow if you notice they don't have those cartridge uh, clamps but on some of them like the MV some of the older printers they use them so now we're going to take a flat blade screwdriver we're going to go between that and the frame I'll zoom in there you go it comes right off now save them should you ever have to put them back on you don't need them you'll be able to install your cartridges now we're going to show you like on this hose clamp um, hose bracket the main one we always put it on the hose first Let's see some of the main hose clips come from the top down and then on some of the printers I'm going to move over here quickly again they come from the bottom up this is the main hose bracket there's another one at the end and sometimes there's a what we call an interlock jumper plug some printers require it some do not so always check with our instructions our printed instructions we give you when you purchase the uh, auto refill system okay now I'm going to show you a little trick it becomes a little bit easier to put it back to put that on hose first then we'll stick it to the printer makes it easier otherwise you have to try to bring that hose up into that bracket now why he's doing that I'm going to show you some of the brackets like on this one here the office jet 5740 it comes from the bottom up and in the instructions we're going to show you where to place it like on the MV and the other ones it's going to mostly go from the top down now you'll be able to install the cartridges now when installing the cartridges and doing hose travel make sure you have unplugged the printer not just turned it off you need to let the cartridges come over unplug them that's on any model that's so you can slide them back and forth without damaging the printer then you can plug it back in see that just snaps right in and then you'll be able to put your main hose bracket in and any other hose bracket you need to put on for the printers some of the models we have to give you what we call an interlock plug that goes in the interlock so the because the lid cannot close all the way 
So, but not on all printers. Some of them, the lid can close down. That's why I said, check with your instructions that we supply if it requires it. If you lift the bottles or mess with the bottles, you'll flood the printhead. You'll either get no printing or very poor quality. So, so I want you to be aware of that. You don't want to lift these bottles. Now, you want to make sure the air plugs are open. That's very important. And then when you want to fill them, you close them, the little ones, and you open the biggers up. But the little ones have to be open when you're printing. So you're going to leave them open. Now, we've already done hose travel. As you can see, this bracket comes from the bottom up. And we've already got, I think, 500, over 500 copies on these cartridges already. The record is about, oh, a little over 5,000. And then you'll be able to replace the cartridges yourself, or we sell them on our website, already um, set up, ready to go back on the auto refill system. That's up to you. We do have a kit that'll show you how to do your own. Like I said, over 500 on this one. Now we're going to show you what happens. When the ink levels go down, they're not going to come back up again. But you don't need it because you have a, an ink tank sitting on the side. So this is what you're going to see. Let me see if I slow this down here. There you go. You're going to get those exclamation marks. But it's still going to allow you to print. Then eventually you're going to get question marks. That's how simple it was to install our auto refill ink supply system.